Hey guys, what's up? Thank you so much for stopping by for another episode of Low Nose. This is where we help content creators just like you get better and better and better through audio, video, and tech. So make sure you hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss out on any other helpful videos just like this one. All right, so today I'm gonna show you how to do those animated cinematic bars just like that. Now, normally you would see these animated, cinema, animated cinematic bars pop up in like extent, extended B-roll sequences with a lot of like fat pumping music to really kind of nail in the sense of like a cinematic scene or a cinematic impression is trying to be put on top of you. Really easy to do. So we're gonna do that in this video right here with this intro like I just did. I'm gonna show you how I did it so you can understand how to do it. So right now, open up Vegas Pro, fire it up, and let's get straight into the tutorial. All right. Get out of here. All right, so to start off, I already put some markers in where I want my cinematic bars to start animating in and out. The first point, the point number two, this will be where my bars come in, and point number one, this is where I punch the bars out. Now, if you're a beginner to keyframes, you don't have to do this, but I'm just I'm just doing this to make it a little bit easier on you. I'm going ahead and press the S button where I have my marker here to split the video to have my field of my work area smaller. Like I said, you don't have to do this, but if you're familiar with keyframes, you don't have to do this, but if you're new to keyframes, I'll probably suggest doing this just to make the work area smaller for you. All right, so let's jump forward. Uh, once you have your split, in the video let's go let's go ahead and go to your event pan and crop and you want to make sure that these options are engaged first you want your size about center you want that in you, you want to make sure that your lock aspect ratio is off so make sure that it is off and just to make things easier you can have your move and your y only that means this only goes like this and that you have you don't have to worry about it going left and right let me undo that so right now we are in our front position and Whatever you do, whenever you do anything here, it creates a keyframe. And a keyframe is a point of animation or movement from one point to the other. So right now, our beginning keyframe that is set there by default is within this default position. I could press restore. My first keyframe will be this. All right, so what we want to do is we want to introduce our black bars probably about two seconds down the line. So here's our zero, and we've got like a, like this is our five second. I wanted to introduce right here at, at two seconds. Okay, so there we go. Now, another thing, you want to make sure that your sync cursor is on. Now, the sync cursor matches the timeline here within your event pan and crop to your actual timeline. So if I were to click over here, my cursor would jump over here in my timeline. If I had to click back, click back here, it would jump over here to match in my timeline. This is extremely helpful when it comes to matching things up, specific animations with your, your, within your clip to your overall timeline. So remember, keep this on because if it's not, you can click all over the place and no, nothing happens with your timeline. So it makes it kind of hard matching timings of animations or clips to one, to one another without that on. There are specific uses for it to, to use without it, but right now we want the sync cursor on. All right, so let's go back to our two second mark. We want to bring down, okay, our, our aspect or our camera here so we can bring the black bars in. You can see it right there. Now, if you want to get real exact, you can bring in the grid here. You can select grid. And you can press this right here and it brings up a grid. You can match these black bars to whatever lines that you want to or in the middle. Or you can just do it by sight. But it's going to hold these black bars throughout the entire clip. All right, so let me take the grid off. Now, if we start right here from the beginning, this is our, this is our original point. This is our introduction of our black bars. And if we play it, we can see it come in. animated cinematic bars just like that. All right, nice nice and smooth. Now let's jump to the end where I have my marker where we take away our cinematic black bars. I'll go right here. You can see it matches my timeline here with my event pan and crop. And right here I will introduce a new keyframe because then from this point on we want to go out. All right, so from, from, from reset to bringing in, it will hold this position all the way until we tell it to do tell it to do something else. So we're going to keep the original position and then the next position will be going away. So I will go two seconds in right here and then I will remove my bars. I will press right click restore. It will send it to a reset state and you can see how it goes from here from down back to up. So if you play it into the tutorial. All right. 
get out of here. Okay, so I'm gonna throw a scenario at you right now. What if you have like a variety of like different clips on your timeline and you wanna do the same effect, but you don't wanna go into every single different clip and apply this effect to it? Well, not a problem. Let's just go ahead and pretend like this clip, I'm going to split up in different clips and we'll, and we'll like all of these cuts, cuts will represent a different clip. Go ahead and just drag the area of the clips that you want to render, press Control M, and it will and pick whatever kind of quality you want to to render it directly above the track render it and once it's done rendering you can apply the same techniques that i showed you earlier and you can even delete the clips underneath it delete event pattern crop okay make sure everything is the same and we can just go to our points and start adding our cinematic black bars going to the end another key point two seconds out and then we'll reset and then our top clip animated cinematic bars just will have the effect and it will retain the cuts that you had from your video making it easier on your life okay guys you are now one lesson better and you have a brand new tool in your editing arsenal Guys, just don't watch this video. Go ahead, apply it to your projects. Get better. The more you do it, the better you get. Go ahead and share this. Show this to someone else. You'll get better for it. I promise you. All right, guys, if you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like. If you loved it, feel free to subscribe. Any questions or comments, leave it down in the comment section down below. And as always, hit me up on my social media, Low Nose Sort Of. And if you really want to get better your game, join the Low Nose community on Discord, Low Noise. Join the Creators Guild, if you will, where we are free to share our experiences and teach you and help you out there. So low nose on discord until the next, until next time guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.